hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome wow i'm excited today for some reason <laughs> it's sunshine it's summertime anyway welcome back once again my name is halima and on today's tutorial i am going to be creating this summer vibrant playful um colors as you guys can see it's beautiful okay so that's those are the colors i'm gonna be playing for pink pepperish and a bit of gold to blend in with my complexion okay so those are the colors so i'm going to be enjoying playing with these colors today so if you guys want to stay tuned and watch me create this dynamic look stay tuned for the rest of the video thank you okay you guys so let's start with the eyebrow and um, i'm gonna start by brushing it up and um, i've got a very very bushy okay guys the brow is almost done um, i'm now going to move on to do my foundation and then the rest of the yeah so guys now i've got my bra all sorted out i'm now going to go on to put you know primer some protective and foundation so but well, first of all i'm gonna protect my skin because the sun is out it's warm so you need your spf so i'm gonna put my spf on okay so i'm gonna use this hello care um spf 50 so if i bring it closer to you guys that's what i'm gonna use and it's got a bit of color in it as well so I'm gonna squirt a little bit and I'm gonna like this sort of amount I'm gonna put it in my put it on my skin and this my hands is clean I'll wash it and you know sanitize my hand as well so I'm gonna put it on just make sure you massage it in for a while you don't really want to damage your skin when it comes to make sure your skin is all protected because this sun out there it really does damage our skin when we don't have the right moisturizer on you know so oh, it feels really nice and it smells gorgeous as well it smells natural okay so that is on Primer. The primer that I'm going to be using is the Face Studio Prime by Maybelline. So that's the one I'm going to use. It's my favorite. Most of all the videos that I've done, I've used this product. Um, I don't use any other primer except this one. But I think I want to start, con you know, like basically um, invested in different, different skin, um, you know, makeup. I really want to try um, Fenty Beauty. I've not tried it yet. But that's my next step to try Fenty Beauty. So then my next tutorial, hopefully, I'm going to save up loads of money to buy Fenty Beauty makeup. And you know, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that tutorial. Actually, it's gonna be exciting. I feel like I'm the only one who hasn't tried Fenty Beauty products. But yeah, it will come one day. Okay, guys. So I've basically put my primer on. My skin is all nice and prime. Um, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to put a powder before I put my foundation on because I really want this foundation to be really matte on my face and you know look you know proper and um, radiant. So I'm just going to spark a little um, powder on my face. I'm using ES1 um, mineral powder. So I'm just going to buff a little bit on my face before I put my foundation. Okay guys, so right now I've put my, you know, I've put a little powder on. I'm going to go in with my um, ES1 um, liquid foundation and um, visible wear. So I'm going to go in with this and I'm going to use my you know, makeup brush, oh, sorry, foundation brush. That's what I'm going to be using. I've already shaped it, so I just put it dumped a bit on my face. I don't, I'm not going for like a heavy makeup today because you know it's hot summer out it's literally hot out here so the sun is shining so i don't want to go put too much on just a very light you know 
makeup but this um, foundation that I'm using ES1 it does really give a good coverage and yeah it's really really you know it, it does cover the face up really well um, so yeah it's, it does worth it but there's so much hype about this foundation you know this specific brand ES1 and um, they're like a um, drugstore kind of um, makeup brand but there's so much hype about them you guys need to check them out um es1 and um, so yeah give them check them out and then i'm sure you guys will find loads of information there's so much hype really really and i mean i suppose i understand where the hype is coming because their makeup is really really good you know yeah definitely especially when you're dark skin find the makeup really give it good doesn't give you that kind of ashy kind of you know gray ish look um yeah so it's very light i'm going for I don't want nothing heavy i find that during summertime when you put heavy makeup and you're out there in the sun you feel really kind of you know you, your makeup tends to get greasy really quickly so it's better to just make it as light as possible because it does really okay so now that I've got my foundation on I'm going to use this face infinity um, max factor concealer so I'm gonna use that quickly just to conceal my face because like I said this is um, a quick summary um, tutorial some of you know kind of look so I don't want anything so heavy it's just very light kind of foundation and then you know just a quick makeup not going for like a full coverage you know definitely not it's hot out there so um, looking for my beauty blender and my spray wet it a little bit so that I can you know, maneuver well um, I'm gonna use a brush today I don't want to because sometimes when I use the whole I'm using this um and uh, what is it called? It's called Maybelline Superstay Multi Pet Multi Multi Use Foundation Stick. Um that that is it guys. So yeah, that's the one. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and then use it. a very big forehead so I have to mimic this big forehead of mine <laughs> I really do have a big forehead honestly um, don't know why but yeah that's me and my forehead game <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put a little bit down here because I really want my lips to define well Okay guys, so now that I've put my contour um, all blending very well, I'm now going to bake, okay? So the bake that I'm using is this one, um, Makeup Obsession Pure Bake and it's called a biscuit. So that's the one I'm going to be using. Okay, so I'm going to put the bake in now. I'm gonna put it in then I do my eyeshadow. I'm gonna put 
put it in and give it time for it to bake well. Um, this makeup pop section, uh, so I really comparing it to my Revolution um, contour powder. I don't. I think I will probably say I prefer both. Actually, they all do the same kind of job. But I recently started using this, so it's gonna take me a while to actually, you know start getting used to it <laughs> yeah it will take because everything new you really got to use it and then you know then I like it but it seems to the first time I used it it seems that it gave me kind of like a very matte flawless um contour it didn't cake or anything like that it literally lasted all day so I guess it's something that I have to grow with it basically um I have to get to I have to get used to it you know I have to get used to it so because I've used the revolution for a while so it's like you know when you just use something and then you change it suddenly it just it gets you going a bit so I have to get used to it as you can see I'm just using a small brush to um, put the bake on my nose I really want my nose to be fine. I have a very beautiful nose, but I really want it to be well defined. Mm. <laughs> so now I'm going to start to do my um, eyeshadow. I don't have an um, eyeshadow primer, so I'm going to use my concealer. Yeah, it's alright. It's the same thing, really. Just, you know, so much hype about using um, eyeshadow primer. So I'm gonna go in with this my Max Factor concealer just to base my crease and my um you know my eye area. So how's everybody getting on with this lockdown? I'm a bit confused um, whether we're still in lockdown or the lockdown is being lifted and all that. I mean, I'm literally lost, lost. I don't know what's happening. Um, I hope everybody's keeping safe out there and, you know, kept themselves safe and doing the right thing, taking the right measures and wearing masks going they are washing their hands and you know sanitizing and so on and so forth we just all have to do our best to get got this combat this disease basically just have to get on with it and just get on with life eventually it's going to disappear and everybody will get back to normality but at this moment of time it's very crucial that we follow measures that governments have put in place because that's the only way we're gonna um get over this um disease you know so yeah we should all try, try our best to get or you know do the right things okay okay so now I'll put the concealer um under my eye area as a base as because I don't have a um, primer specifically for the eye so I'm gonna go in with my transition color which it will be so I'm using my Sephora palette makeup palette so I'm gonna go in with this transition brown color down here just I said transition color like I said just to um, get the foundation and um, the eyebrow going eyebrow did I say eyebrow I did not it <laughs> I mean the eyeshadow I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> so excuse me guys okay so I'm gonna go in this transition color just go with it <laughs> The reason why I've left my bake on because sometimes when you're doing eyeshadow, you tend to get like a bit of um, residue of it flying everywhere. So um, I just thought I'll just keep this 
sweep the bacon so it'd be easier for me to sweep it off after so now i'm gonna actually go in with the colors that i want to go in now so i'm gonna because it's a summer vibe color vibrate you know um beautiful colorful all the colors <laughs> so i'm literally gonna go in with this three i'm gonna go in with these three colors here so one two three these three colors down here that's the colors i'm going with this safari um palette it doesn't actually say the names of what colors they are it is basically the pink and then the lights of pink and a bit of pepperish so those are the colors i'm gonna go for so um i'm going to wet my brush just a little bit not too much just spray the end a little bit you know just to get it a bit little just get it a bit wet and so that when i put the you know the i can't i can't speak <laughs> when i put the shadow on it kind of mats and sticks on well <laughs> i'm having issues speaking today guys i'm really sorry i really don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> Oh, I have days like that so I'm just gonna go back and forth around my crease I'm gonna just fill all this in gently I think I have a hoodie eyes do I guys well my eyes are small um I've got very small eyes when I was the, when I was a little girl people always when like I'm sitting quietly people always think I'm like sleeping <laughs> because my eyes look kind of like dazed out um so just gently tap all that pink on I really like this color how it's coming out. It looks really nice. I like the um, the base of it. I like I like the reflection of the pink. Okay guys, so I've put the pink now on both um eye. Now I'm gonna go in with them um, the second color. Okay, um basically this is just gonna go all all, all over my eye and then just to give it like um shade or blending together i'm not gonna go up to my um you know my eyebrow i'm just gonna just keep low i'll just go with the second pink light reflection something like this and then I'm gonna now I'm going with the, the other color which is the purple so I'm gonna keep it down here somewhere um sorry I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit it's getting a bit dry so I really want this purple to be you know stand out you know so I'm gonna focus on my the outer crease Okay guys, so basically I've literally done both eyes with the, the purple at the end like I said So um, I'm just going to go in with this brush now just to clean up um, You know just to not, there's nothing on it, just to clean up the area Just to make sure everything blends in well, they're all linked together So what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna basically use the same brush but I'm gonna take gold um, and just go in around this part of my eye just to open up my eye a little bit because my woody eye sometimes when I put dark colors it just gives me that um, makes my eyes even more closer so uh, I like to go in the lighter color just at the edge here Definition. Just around here, 
not taking it too deeply right guys so basically I've done both eyes now I'm now gonna go to the top and then put like a gold highlighter down here just to give my push up my eyebrow a little bit and give it more a bit more definition okay so just somewhere around here just a little gentle one just to give that brow more defined look looking i really like these colors actually they look really nice yeah okay guys so i've sorted my eyebrow out so i'm now going to just put I want to put another color just same color just underneath my waterline just to pop up my eye just to make it a bit more radiant and more you know like it is summer so i'm just playing with colors i'm just going with the vibe you know this is nothing um magical just going with the vibe enjoying myself you know okay so now um the eye is sort of sorted out I'm now going to get rid of this issues as you can see as you guys can see this these are the reason why when you're doing your eye it is always advisable to put your bake around the eye area so that that kind of like prevent you and spoiling your foundation so all I'm gonna do now is literally sweep that across and sweep it off so yeah, I'm gonna sweep it off across now to get rid of it. And then the same way it goes with that one. Don't worry guys, this makeup will come out nice. I know that um, you guys probably say the bake looks a bit light, but I like it like that. It's gonna come out, it's gonna turn out nice. Don't worry about that. It's gonna turn out nice. I just need to blend everything in gonna turn out really nice okay so I'm now gonna take a smaller brush and then use it to define everywhere guys so now I'm gonna go in with my ES1 powder and I'm gonna just buff that all over my face and just you know especially where I put the highlighter you know just sorry the um the contour part just gonna buff everywhere get rid of any um, eyeshadows and just blend everything in to make sure everything is nicely blend because makeup always have to look blendable you always have to make your makeup look really nice and blend well Okay, so um, now that I've put the powder, I'm now going to put, um, I'm going to spray a bit of my fixing spray before I go in with, you know, highlight side to finish the look. So I'm going to go with this Sephora um, Beauty Modifier. I'm going to go with that spray. I'm going to go with this one. Just spray all over. Mm dry the moon and then it smells really nice and i'm gonna go with my fan just to dry that off oh what's happening it's not working oops my fan is not working it started not to work on me how dare <laughs> i think it's probably the battery really the battery anyhow i'll leave that to dry and then i'll come back to you so guys i'm now going to put a blush up Okay, so the blush that I'm, that I'm gonna use is part of my Sephora contour, um, sorry, Sephora makeup palette. So it's it's gonna be this. I'm gonna go in with the contour first, these two colors, and then I'm gonna go with the, the darker pink. Sorry guys, the darker pink down here. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm going to just take a bit of the contour, take another brush, 
blush and just do you know lighter and then my lips and then that will be call it a day so now i can go out and enjoy <laughs> yeah right must be going on out there so i'm using my revolution um you know highlighter i'm gonna go with the dark color at the end okay so i've taken a little small brush um by real technique and i'm gonna use that i know it's actually for lips but i'm gonna use it to just to clean the eyeshadow i didn't is you know there was a bit of residue hanging around the edges so i'm just gonna use that i'm gonna tap on just a little bit into my powder and I'm gonna use that to sweep off any residue of um so all you do is just go in like that just gently just mark it up as you guys can see it's defining the edges so that's a bit of a trick to, you know to get if you get any makeup hanging you just Guys, so I'm going to do my lips now. So I'm using my Mary Kay um, lip liner. Um, yeah. I've put a bit of um, you know, the the contour around my lip just to give a bit of shadow. I'm not going for every heavy um, color today. I'm just gonna stay neutral as possible. So I'm gonna go for like a light, um, sorry, a darker lip shade. So that is on. Let's see what color match we're gonna go for. I'm gonna go for, so I'm using my, um, Ooh, let's see I'm gonna go for um, I'm gonna go for that dark color in between so that one there that's what I'm gonna go for so I'm gonna take my lip I'm gonna use my lip um, lipstick brush I'm just gonna brush that in With my lips, I don't really do much, but what I tend to do in the morning when I wake up, the first thing I tend to do is I've made this DIY um, honey and brown sugar, and I put a little bit of lemon inside. So I literally just use that to exfoliate my lips, and you know what? It does magic. It makes my lips really soft and supple. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, that's a little tip there. <laughs> okay. So I just brush it in so you guys can see this colour is very nice. I like this colour. It's like a dark light melted chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so my lips is now looking gorgeous it's, it's looking very kissable <laughs> so basically honestly don't take take any um notice of me i'm just in this kind of mood um that kind of playful mood yeah i get that moment sometimes so yeah that's me so um lips is done and now sometimes you know when you put like a lip gloss or lipstick i sometimes get it around my teeth i hate that so a magic trick is when you've done everything just put stick your hand inside your mouth and just basically clean it out and that basically what it does is it just clean the inner part you know that the inner part so anything that is left any residue that is left there it cleans it off so you don't you won't get any lipstick on your teeth that you know sometimes when you see people smiling you see the lipstick all <laughs> stuck in the teeth <laughs> So now I'm just gonna spray all over my face with my fix prep and prime by MAC. Yeah. So I'm just, this I love this part, it's my favorite. It's 
it makes me so relaxed oh so cool especially when it's a hot day like this oh beautiful and i'm just gonna go in with my um fan got it working it wasn't working before so oh beautiful feels so nice so I'm just gonna let that set and dry nicely and I'm just gonna go over the scene to do my hair and then I'll be back to show you guys my final look but it's summer vibrant look yeah I'm excited it's beautiful colors hi guys so yeah so basically this is the final look of my summer vibrant um, bright playful colors okay i hope you guys like it um i thought today i'll do something different something more you know dynamic and just play with colors so i just went with this you know pinkish purplish with a bit of gold um you know just to lift up my mood and you know what it has done a huge magic on me because i'm literally ready to party <laughs> it's so unfortunate that we're still under lockdown and we can't do much activities so yeah so basically that's the end of my um makeup contour uh summer vibrant look okay so i hope you guys like it so you know what you do you know what you need to do if you do like it you definitely know what to do i don't think i need to tell you guys you just need to hit that subscribe button hit the notification button and comment like and share among your friends and that's it okay i'm gonna end up the tutorial now catch up you catch up with you guys next week bye bye for now